This is our second read of Whistle for Willie, and it's written by Ezra Jack Keats. He drew the pictures, and he also wrote the story, and it's in our Unit 5, Grade 1 textbook, and this is Journeys. And we learned yesterday that Peter has a dog named Willie, and Willie is one of his his pets. Maybe he has other pets, but the one we're talking about is Willie. So I wanted to start this lesson off with a little bit of, I guess we'll call it science. And we're going to just sort pets into good pets and bad pets. So we have good pets and we have bad pets. So hamster, is that a good pet or a bad pet? It's a good pet. Camels. Well, some people have camels just like they have horses, but they eat a lot of food. And sometimes they spit at you. I would call them a bad pet. An elephant. Let's see. It would cost too much money to have an elephant. You'd have to probably buy some kind of forest just to feed it. He also might step on you. Okay, a duck. Maybe some people have ducks as pets, like farmers like ducks. You would have to get a pool for it. I'm going to maybe put it over here on the good pet side. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure about that one. A fish. A lot of people have fish. They're easy to take care of. They don't make noise to bother your neighbor. A dog definitely is a good pet. They like you too. Porcupines. Bad pets. Why would you want a porcupine? You can't even pet it. It might back into you, and then you'll have quills all over you. I'll put it in the bad pet category. A lot of people have bunnies for pets. They're also very quiet. Polar bear. No. Polar bears would eat you. Turtle. My husband used to have two turtles. They're the kind of turtles that were pond turtles, and he had a huge aquarium in his classroom. They're, they make good pets. They're nice and quiet. Giraffes, no, they're too big, they cost too much to feed. And cats, yes, we have cats as pets. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you, hope you got all those right. All right, now we're going to read it, and as we read it, we'll learn the, the words. I have the sight words and the vocabulary words in here to practice reading on the pages that they're on. Let's read it with me. Put your fingers underneath the words. And let's do this together. Ready? Begin. Whistle for Willie. Boy. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. <whistles> Began. Whirled. When you go around and around, you whirl. Peter tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So, instead, he began to turn himself around. Around and around he whirled. Faster and faster. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Empty carton. Empty means there's nothing in it. And carton is like a cardboard box. Again. Peter saw his dog, Willie, coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in an empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought. Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. 
Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. <sighs> so Willie just walked on. He never got Willie's attention because he couldn't whistle. Pocket. We know what a pocket is. It's in our pants. It's a little, like a little pouch sort of sewn into your clothes and you put little things inside of it. Pocket. This says nothing. Actually, it does say something. Nothing means nothing. <laughs> happened. Nothing happened. Those are going to be those two words. Remember at the end. Let's read on this page. Put your finger there. Ready? Read. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long, long line right up to his door. See it? He stood there and tried to whistle again. <sighs> he blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. What does this say? House, father, okay, ready to read? He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. <laughs> Still no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, Why, no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for them, said Peter. Along. Together. That's a long word, isn't it? Shadow. This right here, this shaded area. Um, is a shadow. Like maybe the sun is shining up here and so his body's blocking the sun from putting light underneath him. That's his shadow. So shadow along and together. You know those. Okay, ready? First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew. Suddenly, out came a real whistle. <whistles> Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. <whistles> it's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran home to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Errand. 
An errand is a little short trip you take to go get something done. And grocery. Grocery is like, like the grocery store. It sells food and other stuff that you need. Can't remember those two words, errand and grocery. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. There's the word grocery. He whistled all the way there. And he whistled all the way home. And that's that. That was our second read. Good job. Bye-bye.